Welcome back, traders. Second portion of our show, market movers. And uh, boy, we got a lot of market movers here. Uh, just on all the earnings news. So let's get started with eBay. eBay, uh, I guess you could call it a, a slight miss there. Uh, but the street uh, certainly likes uh, that that slight miss as the stock is trading up uh, a buck 14 here. Really opening up into some major resistance here. This uh, 3150 level um, has been the cap uh, besides this 32. Uh, the stock has hit 31.57 in the pre-market, uh, so let's keep an eye on that level. If, in fact, it can get through there, uh, look for this $32 to put a lid on it today. Uh, coming back on the downside, um, it's been really been holding in at uh, 31.20. Uh, so as long as this stock uh, can hold that 31.20 level, uh, it will be in a rally mode. Our next earnings, surprise, 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 Bank America has good earnings. I wonder if anybody had an inclination on that uh, since the stock has rallied this year from 550 over to $7. Uh, folks, uh, the stock has had a two-buck run, basically, so what's going to happen next? Uh, I was going to tell you that, uh, you know, 716 was going to be good resistance, but, but we've seen to get through there. Um, have topped out in the pre-market here at 734. So I'd keep an eye on that 734 level, really up to 743, uh, which was uh, the high back in, uh, in October. A uh, lot of people with a lot of profits in this stock that are playing this short term. So uh, if it can't get up and hold and get above that 740 level um, I look for this stock to uh, come back down and perhaps trade under seven dollars uh, there was a couple spikes in the pre-market under under seven dollars actually the pre-market low at 678 um, as folks were digesting uh, the news of uh, the earnings another financial company with good earnings Morgan Stanley Morgan Stanley, where have you been in this rally since 2008? Uh, a narrow, narrower loss than forecasts uh, of the street. Um, never, this stock has just never participated on the upside since we've hit the 2008 lows. Um, it seems to be doing that right now. Uh, looking at the charts last night, I just didn't see a lot of resistance in this thing up to 1860. And uh, lo and behold, we've hit 1850 in the in the pre-market, uh, just kind of holding steady there. So I would look to see the stock if it opens up around this 1850 level um, and cannot hold. I look for it to perhaps come down and uh, trade 18 bucks above this 1850 level, folks. There's just not a whole lot of resistance in here. Uh, perhaps we could uh, be sniffing the $20 level and. Uh, in the next few days but uh i don't think i'd be rushing out and buying uh the 20 dollar calls uh right at the moment moving on to our next market mover uh united healthcare uh which has had a monster run uh climbing from the 2008 lows and just a nice steady climb here uh the stock uh beats the street uh nice strong profits uh, we did, I could call major support at uh, $53, uh, but uh, we are currently trading $0.90 cents above that level. Looking at the pre-market activity, uh, this stock did get an initial pop, um, traded as high as $54.75 as the, uh, when the news initially came out. So let's keep a close eye on this $54.75 level. Um, since that, since hitting that, it's kind of been drifting lower. Uh, currently, the low in the pre-market has been 53.90. Uh, that coincides uh, real nicely with the close of yesterday, which was 53.94. Uh, so let's look for major resistance at 54.75. If in fact the stock can't hold the close at uh, 53.94. Uh, perhaps it will drift down to the double bottom we had at uh, 52.87 and 52.93 of uh, the previous two days lows. 
Uh, moving on to a couple stocks that are uh, due to announce earnings. Uh, Intel Corporation uh, really trying like the devil to get above this uh, 25 and a half level. It did not sneak uh, above that level a few days ago, but we ran into a lot of problems here at the $26 level. So if, in fact, we can get above and hold 25 and a half, uh, look for uh, a challenge of the $26 level. Uh, above that, folks, there's not a whole lot to look at up until uh, the 27s. Uh, coming back on the downside, major major support here at the $25 level you've had uh, three consecutive lows uh, between $24.97 and $25.10 so $25 even at $25.5 uh, looks like the range in Intel um, another stock uh, that's due to announce uh, earnings later on today and uh, it seems like every time Google announces earnings it's good for a 50 buck move so uh, you folks that got your strangles on uh, let, let's hope that comes true again uh, that stock is trading up five dollars in the pre-market uh, really it's found a whole host of support here from 617 to 620 uh, so as long as that stock uh, can hold in that level uh, it's good to go to the upside uh, on uh, on the upside our next major resistance level is uh, six dollars or six dollars six hundred and seventy six hundred seventy and a quarter has been the high for the year that was the high back on uh, on uh, January 4th so uh, let's look for uh, a break below 620 or a rally up to 670 on the uh, predictable $50 move in Google earnings uh, two other stocks that are uh, due to an, um, announce earnings uh, later on today uh, Microsoft which we discussed a little bit in the Big Ten show um, has had a nice move so uh, let's keep an eye on that 2850 to 2865 level uh, that's been the previous two days highs as long as this stock holds above 28 uh, it's good to go on the upside uh, the other stock uh, that's due to announce um, earnings today um, IBM it just seems like it uh, really has been a stubborn uh, participant in the Santa Claus rally uh, so far this year um, as long as we uh, stay above this 177 level here, folks, you can see it on the charts. Uh, perhaps we'd be poised and uh, get back up and sniff uh, the all-time high uh, up around the 195 level. Well, folks, that's a wrap of the market movers here. Uh, the S&Ps are continuing their steady climb, making a new high at 13.09 and a quarter. Uh, keep an eye on this uh, this morning high uh, to be resistance uh, as we mentioned on the earlier show our next major resistance level are from 1317 to 1320 well Dennis will be back with us tomorrow I uh, hope this show has been informative for, for you and uh, have a good trading day